After one-to-one, -one, after the show with Lieutenant Governor Jerry Abramson, we've just taped a, uh, a show about the upcoming administration and his move from mayor to lieutenant governor. But I want to go back a long way, okay? Okay. I want you to tell me about living up above the grocery store <laughs> and growing up uh, with your, your dad as a grocer uh, in Louisville, and we won't say how many years ago, but Listen, just talk about that. You know, uh, my dad opened that grocery at 6 in the morning. And he closed that grocery at six at night, six and a half days a week. We were across the street from Hillrick and Bradsby, the original baseball bat factory. And so all those guys would come in in the morning. A lot of them were farmers. They'd go to work at six in the morning. They'd give us their grocery list. They'd leave at 2.30 in the afternoon, and we'd have it all ready for them to go. Uh, we swept the sidewalk in the morning when we opened. We swept the sidewalk in the evening when we, when we closed. The great story I've always told is on the corner where my dad's grocery was, there was a wicker basket, a metal wicker basket, trash can. And invariably, the city would come by, take the trash out, and every now and then they'd take the can with them. <laughs> and so my dad would have to call down. and you know. So he told the story, and I don't know if it was apocryphal or not, but he <laughs> told the story that when I was nine years old, I said, I said to him, don't worry, Dad, someday I'm going to be mayor and we're going to bolt that <laughs> trash can down on the sidewalk. And you did tell me that uh, during the Grand March, right. the, uh, after the inauguration, after you're swearing in, you were uh, poised at the top of the stairs with your wife, getting ready to uh, descend, and you, you thought of your dad there, just and I your did. mom. I did. I did. Yeah. You know, I was standing there with my, with my wife of 23 years and our son, who just turned 20, and I was waiting to walk down those marble stairs. And, and I just, just for a moment, I thought of my parents, who unfortunately are no longer with us, and I thought, you know, wow, I mean, look how elegant, look how, how wonderful. It's like a fairyland. It's just a fantasy. And, and, and if they could have been here, they, I think they would have been very proud of my family, of, of what we've accomplished. And uh, for a moment, I, 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 I got a little emotional there. Yeah, no question about it. Well, thanks you caught that. Thanks for telling us that story. You bet. After the show, one-to-one, -one, I'm Bill Goodman.